when I stand in my way, that's a losing game. When I'm old for my age, it's a ball and chain. Got lost in the cause of that pretty face. Wanna have it all, nothing left to gain. It's like I don't know where the blame goes. But I put it on the table, it's already paid for. Welcome back to another video. Um, the clips I filmed earlier were like much earlier in the day. I think that was like around like 10.30 or 11 or something. Um, I put Murphy down for a nap, thinking that it would be a long one, but she's been having like really short naps lately and I'm so bummed about that. Um, so I was trying to get a workout in and I did. I got like a, I did like three rounds of exercises and it was like 25 minutes uh, which is you know that's better than nothing I'm happy to like get in a workout where I can but her naps have been pretty short this week um, but she did sleep for an eight and a half hour stretch last night and then I got up at five and gave her a bottle breastfed her a little bit put her down and she woke up at I think like eight or like yeah, right before eight, which is awesome. Um, so, you know, it's like either she's gonna like nap longer during the day and get up more at night. I'd rather her sleep through the night. So anyway, if you happen to be new here, my name is Shelby. I live um, right outside of Salt Lake City in Utah because my husband is in the Air Force. He's a pilot and we are stationed here. We moved here last July, so very quickly coming up on a year. And we have um, a daughter named Murphy who is going to be seven months very soon. We have lived all over the place. I'm originally from Texas. David grew up in the Air Force. His dad was in the Air Force, so he's from like all over. And we have lived in Texas, New Mexico, Nevada, back to New Mexico, California, and now we are in Utah. So that is a very, very quick little background. Um, so if you like stay at home mom content, like home decor, healthy, healthy living, like balanced lifestyle of trying to eat well and stay active and just like take care of yourself. And yeah, just like every day, sometimes kind of mundane, like chores, laundry, just like regular life stuff, then stick around. Um, I would love for you to join the channel. So David should be home here pretty soon. I am just making some tuna salad for him right now. I'm gonna have some too, but um, he is always like starving right when he gets home from work and is wanting to eat like immediately. So I thought I would put together something for him that's actually good because he's normally just like grabbing like chips and protein bars. So, yeah, doing a little tuna salad. I'm using this um, Safe Catch Wild Albacore, Albacore Tuna. And then I'm gonna cut up some little dill pickles and some organic mustard, vegan mayonnaise, and then also some fresh dill, um, like some herbs. Tastes super good. And then we'll do some seasonings. So I actually have 
a facial appointment at 3.15. I am so excited, you guys. I think the last two times that I tried to get a massage or something, um, it's been canceled randomly. So the last time I was supposed to get like a massage and a facial like back to back and they called me the day before and actually maybe it could have been on the day of they called me and they were like sorry you know your masseuse called in sick can we reschedule and i was like i can't reschedule right now like this was my one day and it was like after david had been traveling for work and i just really needed like a break and that sucked um but that had happened one other time before i'm pretty sure so anyway today i'm getting a 90 minute facial I'm so excited. I desperately need it. When we lived in California, I would get facials monthly and it's just so nice. And it was like nice to just keep up with like my skin and just do something for myself. And you know, facials are obviously <laughs> really good for you. So the last time I had a facial, I was pregnant. Um, so it's been a minute and I'm really looking forward to this. My skin desperately needs it. Um, yeah, so that'll be nice. And we have a membership with Mersa with Mersarge. <laughs> with Mersarge. We have a membership with Massage Envy um, that we pay monthly for. And you get like one credit per month. Well, like I said, I haven't used one since I was pregnant. So I have like 20, no. I have 12 credits I think David has something like 24 like something ridiculous and we just we need to use them I don't know that they expire anytime soon like especially as long as we keep paying for a membership but we need to use them because obviously we're paying all that money for it and we just have all these credits building up so I upgraded to a 90 minute facial instead of just an hour one and I really want to do a chemical peel at some point, but I am going to dinner tonight with the neighborhood mamas. Um, one of them cannot make it, unfortunately. Um, so it's just gonna be three of us tonight, but I'm really looking forward to it. I made us a reservation for um, a place nearby called Sushi Monster. I've been really craving sushi, so I'm looking forward to the dinner tonight. But anyway, I didn't want to get a chemical peel because I want to come back and like get ready for the night and not be like all red and like peeling. <laughs> so I'm going to do the chemical peel. I'm going to ask her more questions about it today um, while I'm getting this facial and plan ahead for that, um, like making sure that we don't have any outings <laughs> soon after getting the chemical peel because I don't know how, you know, my skin will respond to that. So. Anyway, that's the plan. So after my facial, I need to like rush back here and get ready really quickly, throw some light makeup on. I hate putting makeup on right after a facial, but like also my skin's gonna be like a little red and irritated. It normally is after facials, um, especially like with extractions and stuff. And I definitely have a lot cause it's been so long since I've gotten a facial that I'm probably just gonna do like a little, a little light makeup just to feel like more confident going out to dinner and david is on baby duty all afternoon and all evening and i am gonna have some sushi and some girl talk and a couple glasses of wine probably and i'm excited it has felt like the longest freaking week of my life you guys like i cannot believe that it's just now friday it feels like we should be well into next week like it's been one of those and Murphy is just getting more like mobile and like a little bit harder to entertain. Um, like she used to just chill in her little skip hop play gym or like her play gym on the ground. And she does still do that, but it's not entertaining her as long anymore. Like she needs more stimulation and more activity. And I'm kind of like, what do we do? I'm running out of things to do. <laughs> and I need to look into just like local things that are going on like would it be nice to just go take her to like the library and like look look at books or go like to like an aquarium go to i don't know pack a lunch and go to the park just like getting out more like going somewhere where she can just like people watch because she really does like that i don't know i'm like i'm running out of ideas so 
Anyway, I'm gonna finish up making this tuna. I'm gonna get David, um, or I'm gonna get Murphy a bottle prepped so that David doesn't have to do that when he gets home. And yeah, that way he can have a little after work lunch, after work snack. And then I will definitely make sure to order him some spicy tuna rolls to go tonight so I can bring that home for him. Um, because yeah, I feel bad because while he does go like on a lot of work trips and you know, I am on like stay at home mom duty five days a week by myself. Um, and then obviously more when he's traveling for work, I do still feel bad when like, I get to go do these fun things like getting a facial and going out to dinner with friends because normally when he's not here, it's not like social fun stuff, it's work stuff. So, um, although this last time he was gone, he did get to hang out with like his very best friend in the world, our friend Adam, who was the best man in his wedding and him and his wife, Katie, have been on my channel multiple times. Like we've traveled with them a ton. Um, so they got to spend a lot of time together which was great for him. And we did just have our friends Houston and Cassie in town not too long ago. So we have seen friends and done more social stuff, but I think, um, yeah, he's gonna need to like, after my little treat, it's also Mother's Day weekend, so facial, dinner out with girls, and then apparently I'm getting an amazing gift this weekend, and I'm really excited about that. Um, also, speaking of Mother's Day gifts, my mom, I'll show you guys, she sent me these gorgeous flowers. Anyway, all of that to say is um, David definitely needs a little, like, like fun social outing with friends, um, not just like constantly like having to do work stuff. So let me show you guys these flowers really quickly. Look how stunning. Happy Mother's Day. Love you so much. Love mom. These are so beautiful love 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 and this video will be out after mother's day so i can say what i got for her i'm such an idiot i had picked out such a cute um no baby oh, i thought she was awake i'm like no come on um really good mother's day card sitting upstairs on the desk still ready to go just sitting there so i need to mail that out I hate that it's gonna be there like so late, but you know, that's mom life. But we are gifting my mom. Um, I'm just gonna like tell her like, give me a, like a date that you have the, the time and I'm scheduling her a full body hour massage and custom facial, hour custom facial at Massage and V2. So, I am excited about that and she definitely deserves it. She's been so helpful since Murphy's been born. She's literally been out here every month since the week she was born. So um, yeah, anyway, very, very long little intro and lots of little updates, but I will try to film what I can of any parts of my facial, even if it's just like the little room or whatever. I'm not gonna like bring out my camera while she's giving me a facial because I don't know this person. <laughs> but I'm hoping it's the woman who did my facial when I was pregnant that was the best freaking facial ever. Like, so good, so good. And like I got massaged, it was like, oh my gosh, it was epic, I really hope it's her again. But um, if not, listen, I'm just happy to be there. Happy to be participating in this. Anyway, welcome back to another video. Um, I'll probably pick up my camera after the facial and then do like a very quick get ready with me. I already have my outfit and stuff picked out for tonight, so that's the hard part and that's out of the way. So when I come back, I just need to like throw on some light makeup, maybe run a curling iron through my hair, but it's already like straight and like nice. So. Facial was amazing, super relaxing. Seriously, so freaking good. But David took Murphy to Costco, which is right, right across the street from Massage Envy. 
So he was like, hey, we're over at Costco. You want to come stop by and say hi? And it took a little while for me to find parking. So I was like already in a little bit of a hurry. Um, so I run in and Murphy was like fussing. And we, I realized, or he was like, yeah, she's probably hungry. Long story short, um, I took Murphy and we switched keys and I took the truck home. She cried the whole way home because she was super tired and she was really hungry. And so I heated up a bottle. David had brought a bottle. I heated it up on the way home and then fed her and then just put her down for a nap. But now it's 5.45 and dinner is at 6.30 and clearly I am not ready. So be lying if I said I'm not a little frustrated because I was super relaxed after my um, facial and then quickly became unrelaxed. <laughs> so, um, I don't know, I think he just, I don't even know if he's home yet. So, um, yeah, a little bit frustrated with the timing and I was just really hoping to have like a super relaxing, um, afternoon, like flowing into like kind of slowly getting ready and then going on to dinner just to like enjoy myself and it didn't turn out that way but that's okay Murphy's napping now and I'm just gonna get ready as quickly as possible thankfully I already have like I told you guys I already have my outfit picked out so that's good um, so yeah I've got like about 20 ish minutes to get ready and I'm a little frustrated, not gonna lie. But the facial was fabulous. So good, she did like, it sucks I'm putting makeup over it, but there's no way to go out in public with my skin like fresh after a facial because there's like, she did some extractions and those places are like inflamed a little bit and I just need a little cover up for sure. But um, she did like, a hand massage and a shoulder massage and a hand mask and like this hand massage yeah hand and arm massage a scalp massage oh my god and it was the esthetician that i had when i went um when i was pregnant which was amazing and i like that was yeah that was the best i thought that was the best facial i've ever gotten this one was the best it was so nice and i enjoyed it so much so anyway, I was going to do like a fun little get ready with me, maybe make a cocktail, but we don't have time for that. Um, we just don't have time. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm going to do something really quick. Maybe throw some light curls in my hair if I have um, some time. And yeah, it's like this part, it doesn't really take so long. It's just making everything come together. So like actually thinking through how long it takes you to like put your clothes on and zhuzh up a little bit and get all your jewelry on and grab your bag and last minute things. Um, that's kind of what I feel like people don't calculate for when they think about getting ready. So yeah, it takes like 30 minutes to do hair and makeup, but then it's like an extra like 10 minutes to, you know, you want to do your lipstick and fix up your hair. And like I said, grab you know, get your purse ready and grab your last minute things. And I hate being in a rush. It's like my least favorite thing ever. The fact that I'm doing that right now, that I went from like such relaxation mode to like a little frantic is bothersome to me. I won't lie. Anyway, I will try and pick up my camera when I'm like fully dressed and show you guys the final look. Okay, this is the outfit. I have like five minutes before I have to leave, but I attempted to put like some curl in my hair and I really shouldn't have done that because now it just made it, made it look like dry and crazy, but whatever. Um, then I have these cute little earrings on. I don't know if this is all too much, like with the turquoise and the pearls and the pearls and the bracelets and all the things, but I'm going with it. And then I just did like the quickest makeup ever that looks really dry and not great, but that's okay. And then these pants from H&M that I absolutely love. And then I have this little leather jacket from Nordstrom and my bracelets that I got in Dallas at the boutique. And then I'm gonna do some square toe 
like little short heel boots. Um, not a very like May outfit, but it's chilly outside because we're in Utah. So that is the look. Oh, and then this is just a bodysuit that I got from Target, which is so good, you guys. And they have it in multiple colors. It is so nice. It's like feels like skims. It's really, really good. So that's the look. Um, if I get any clips of like our food, drinks or whatever, I'll make sure to include those, but gotta head out. Good morning, happy Saturday. I am on my way to the gym right now. Um, oh my gosh, my facial yesterday, did I already talk about that? Yeah, I did, it was amazing, but my skin is like all inflamed in the spots that she was trying to do extractions and this one right here was like so stubborn and she like couldn't get it fully out and so now i'm like so <laughs> red and inflamed in that area but the rest of my skin feels so freaking good like all the texture that was there like on the surface of my skin is gone it's just feeling really nice and smooth and i'm not sure if i mentioned yesterday but she did say like the foundation of my skin is really good and keep doing what I'm doing like with my products. Um, but that I need to do like a microdermabrasion to like clean out all my pores, like basically do like a deep clean of my pores and my skin so that my products are able to better penetrate my skin and like actually be more effective. But since I hadn't had a facial in so long, there was just like a lot of buildup. Um, so that was like a nice like reset. And I could tell last night when I, you know, washed my makeup off after dinner and put the products on that like they were feeling like that activity again, which was really nice. Um, I haven't felt that in a while because I feel like there's been like a layer of like dead skin and just buildup. So feeling so nice and fresh. This side is looking gorgeous, but it's just <laughs> this guy right here. So hence the hat trying to deflect from the monster on my face. Anyway, um, I'm heading to the gym. It is the most stunning day, you guys. And the forecast for the rest of the week is pretty much like this, like sunny skies, and it's gonna be a lot warmer. It's 63 degrees right now, and I think there's a high of 70 today, and the sun is out, and it's just freaking beautiful. So I'm going to the gym first, and then um, David's gonna put Murphy down for a nap, and then we're gonna switch. He's gonna go to the gym. And then we don't have any like solid plans for the day. We're just gonna hang out, spend some family time together. And the one thing that we really need to do is clean out this truck because it's disgusting. And we are road tripping to Vegas on Tuesday. Um, we're going for our friends Bree and Brian, their baby shower. Um, they are having a girl too, we're so excited. And they came to our baby shower in Lampasas, so we definitely wanted to make sure that we could make it to theirs. And David kind of fitted in with a work trip, so we are gonna be out there for about a week. Um, yeah, it's gonna be really nice. We're staying at a really nice hotel in Summerlin. We're staying at the JW Marriott, and our room is like gorgeous. And we could get upgraded to a suite, potentially, because of like David's card status because he travels so much um, for work. So we'll see if that works out, because that would be really nice. But the room is already like gorgeous, like big bathtub, and there's like a nice pool, and it's like a really pretty area in Summerlin. If you guys are not familiar with Summerlin in Nevada, it's so nice, so beautiful. Um, if we ever got stationed there, I would, that's where I would want to live is in Summerlin. Anywho, if I can get any clips of my workout, I will. I think I'm just going to do some squats and some deadlifts if I can um, get a little squat rack. There's one that I found the other day. Not found, it's been there all along and I've seen it. But there's one that I worked out in the other day. It was like the perfect little nook to like just get my workout done in one spot um, without having to like bop around all over the place so we're gonna try and do that but yeah I'm feeling good today because this weather is absolutely amazing and I'm so happy that the Sun is out and it's gonna be warm today so let's go get this workout done Single man. 
All right, y'all, just got done with my workout. It was so good. I tried to get some clips, then I looked back at them and like the angle wasn't so great, but like you get the gist of what I was doing. It is hot all of a sudden. It was like 67 when I went into the gym and now it's 75. Oh, 75 and sunny. I'm gonna roll windows down on the way home, playing this song. So I'm gonna head home. Murphy's down for a nap. She'll probably be waking up soon. David and I are gonna switch off. And when he's done, we will continue with our day. It's only noon. So we've got the whole afternoon to get shit done. All right, I'm back home. And I am making a Dave's Killer Bread Everything Bagel. I'm gonna use the Kite Hill Chive Cream Cheese. The best cream cheese ever ever and i am making three vital farm scrambled eggs and i just washed some organic strawberries murphy is actually still sleeping which is crazy because her morning naps all week were like a lot shorter than normal but i think she's been napping for like almost an hour at this point so that's good but true to her style the second i like played up my food sit down to eat she will wake up but that's okay um so david just left to go do his workout and then when he gets back we will have some lunch and probably go get started on the truck or go on a walk or just do like something productive something outside um yeah and then tomorrow is Mother's Day, and maybe I've already mentioned it. I don't remember what I've mentioned in this vlog so far, but David does have a big, exciting gift for me. I'm really excited to find that out. He's been trying to give it to me all week. Maybe I did say that, or was I telling the girls that last night? I can't remember. Um, yeah, he's been like, do you want it now? Do you want it now? He's been trying to give me this gift since like Thursday. But we are gonna wait until tomorrow for sure. So I'm really looking forward to that. I feel like diamonds are involved. I know that it's jewelry because that's what I wanted. <laughs> like I have been saying, well we both have been saying like for years that it's really nice for big life events to like get a nice piece of jewelry to commemorate that experience and especially having a daughter you know those are things that i will be so excited to pass down to her like in the future like my push present ring that i wear is like my wedding ring now um so freaking gorgeous i love it so much but one day like we bought it or david bought it um with the intention of you know giving that to murphy one day if she wants it if she loves it um, I want it to be hers one day. So any jewelry I have is an investment piece to, like I said, commemorate, you know, first Mother's Day, first birthdays, our baby being born, you know, things like that. Um, and then eventually giving those things to her, which is really exciting. So, whoa, I almost burned this bagel. Wow. That was close. Oh, that's a little little toasty do you guys is this like perfectly toasted do you like it almost burnt or are you like super lightly toasted kind of person i'm curious comment below and let me know um yeah so that is the rundown that's the plan for the day just some family time i look forward to weekends more and more now that we have murphy and especially with david working so much more like weekends are just so nice spending like family time together and just hanging especially when the weather's like this and like getting stuff done around the house and just like being, being productive together like i love that so that's what we're gonna do okay so earlier i made murphy some food it is an avocado with banana and almond milk blended up so it's like whipped. Um, and she tried a little bit this morning, but we're gonna try some more right now. 
and see if she likes it because she had just breastfed the first time we tried it so she wasn't like hungry enough. I've realized that she has to be like really hungry to actually take multiple bites of food. Oh, let's try this. Let's try some avocados bananas. You just drool all over me, silly goose. If we like it. I think there's only been one time so far that she's taken multiple bites of something and actually like opened her mouth and like went for the spoon. Um, but from what I've researched, like you just keep trying. This battery's about to die, of course. Wanna try this? Mmm. It's good, honey. Oh, we like it? <laughs> her faces, oh my gosh. But there we go. Uh, good girl. Need some water? Yeah. That's how you do it. He's so big. This from Harmon's? Yeah. Oh. 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 You know, I just went and got you a random coffee somewhere. No, but when I checked your location, you were at Smith's. Oh my god. So good. Oh there. my gosh! <laughs> you put a bow on it. Beautiful. Put a bow on my that is such a sweet gift. Happy. And then she said, Joy. <laughs> That's the only packaging you could find. <laughs> I found it our thing. Oh my god. They don't have any. Smart. She did. She told me a lot of Baby, you wrote this one for sure. 
so sweet. Okay, let's get Nami's real. Okay. <laughs> A little bit of a prank involved, and then a prank within the prank. Because I told you the prank was a prank, but it wasn't the prank. It was another prank. I was just confused by the necklace because that is not like I don't know. Is that what? Anything I asked for? Or like <laughs> the colors, like nothing's <laughs> right. He's like he, he just wouldn't. And then he'd be so excited. He wouldn't get it this wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Secure backing. I don't even know if you have any like that, but since they're so big and nice, I figured we would get like a more. <laughs> you can probably see it from over there. <laughs> probably, you probably see it from where they are. It's enormous. <gasps> that is so pretty. <laughs> yeah. Oh, those are stunning. What in the world? You guys. <laughs> Look at my ears. Whoa. <laughs> She's like, whoa, those are shiny. Can I want to eat those. Can I eat it? <gasps> wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, are, you, are you kidding? They're so pretty. Mama. 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 Hello guys, good afternoon. It is Monday, right at 12. And yesterday was Mother's Day. And we had such a good day. And I don't think I picked up my camera after I opened my gift, which I'm currently wearing. These earrings are absolutely stunning. And just way more than I expected. I knew I was gonna get jewelry because that's what I asked for. And we love, or I love getting jewelry for big occasions. Um, and getting to like commemorate an, an experience or, you know, exciting thing. I'm pretty sure I've already said that in this vlog, but um, so with that in mind, David tends to go above and beyond. And in this case he did. When I opened up the jewelry box and saw these, I just wasn't expecting it. My skin is still looking a little crazy after my facial. Every other place feels nice and smooth, but the places where she worked on like extractions are still like pretty red. Um, but slowly going down. Um, so it's, they're, they're taking away from the shine, taking away from how gorgeous these are. So they are beautiful, beautiful. Match my um, ring that he got me perfectly. And let me show you guys, I think it's up here. Cause they're all, they're both um, oval cut. Yeah, so. This is my ring that I got for my push present, <laughs> having Murphy. Um, so, same shape and a gold setting. So all of it together is just stunning. But what I was about to do, so I have been asking like people, I'm like, are they too big? And I'm not saying this in like a, oh my God, are they my rings? Are they like too big, you know? I'm not saying it like that. I'm like genuinely like, do I only wear these for special occasions? Are they that size? Like you only wear for like dressing up or can I wear them 
every day the way I am right now. Like, can I go to the gym with them? Because they have like the super secure backing. These bitches are not coming off. They're not moving. They are so secure. It's like the most secure backing like on the market basically. That's what he went with because they're so big and nice. Um, but are they just like, I don't know. I can't tell if I look like a little girl like playing dress up with like costume jewelry or like are they fine to wear every day? Like I want to wear them to the gym because they're not going anywhere and I'm not like doing anything that would like, you know, make the diamond fall out. Um, I just want to be able to wear them every day as like a staple piece, the same way I do with like my necklaces and some bracelets that I have. So that's what I'm debating, but I figured I would go ahead and give you guys just a closer look at them because they're so beautiful and I just don't want to take them off. Anyway, Murphy and I are hanging out. I just fed her a little bit and we will probably go on a walk here soon. Um, but yeah, I just... I was the same way when I got my ring. I just could not stop staring. And every mirror I look in, I just have to stop and look and be like, oh my gosh. So they are really big. Um, but I think, yeah, I think like we just do it. Like we just wear them every day because when you get something this stunning, why wouldn't you want to? And if it looks ridiculous to others, I don't care. I love them. I just love them. So anyway, quick little update. Um, I think we are going to go on a walk here soon. And then David went in earlier today. He actually got up really early, went to the gym at like 6 a.m. Um, we slept pretty good last night too, even after having some cocktails. <laughs> um, so last night we hung out with all the neighbors out back while the kids played. David and I had some gin and ginger beer cocktails and I was actually like a little bit tipsy last night and we were being like so silly. After we put Murphy to bed, we were like hanging out. We made like <laughs> breakfast food and we were just like being silly and having fun. Um, and I woke up with like a little bit of a headache, but had some coffee and got ready for the day and like feeling fine now. Um, but we need to go on a walk, get some fresh air and also, what was I saying? David went to the gym. He went into work early so he could come home early. Um, we need to go get formula. I need to find some time to get my nails and toes done before this coming week or this week that we're in. We're going to Vegas. Um, David worked in a work trip and we have our friend's baby shower. So we're doing that and I'm going to vlog that. We're staying at a nice hotel. I'm so excited. And yeah, maybe I talked about this in a previous video. I'm not sure. I have been filming videos a lot lately and I'm hoping that you guys are enjoying them, but I'm filming so far ahead now um, that by the time I do like this video is going to be, you're not going to see this video for like two or three weeks, at least two weeks. Um, so I forget the things that I've said in the previous videos. So I'm not sure if I already talked about this trip or whatever, but, um, if I have just ignore me, um, but yeah, I'm excited. So I'm going to definitely vlog that and do like a little travel vlog. And, uh, we got Murphy a little bathing suit and a sun hat. We're going to go to the pool at this place and yeah, I'm just excited. It's going to be, it's going to be fun. I'm not excited about packing or getting out there, but being there and being at a nice hotel and like going to the pool with Murph and just chilling for a little bit and getting out of the house. All right, y'all, it is a little after eight. Murphy is laying in there doing her naked kicks, playing, I'm about to go hang out with her. David came home this afternoon, I went and got my nails done, and I did this really pretty red color with chrome on top, and the color is actually called Vegas Bolt. Um, so that was speaking, I wanted to do red when I saw that name, since we're going to Vegas this week. Um, I was like, okay, that has to be the one. So I did that when I went to Target, got formula for Murphy. Then I stopped by H&M just to see what they have. And they have lots of stuff. I think I'm going to go back tomorrow and do a little bit of shopping. And then came back, made tuna melt sandwiches for dinner. And then David is actually playing basketball tonight um, at the pickup league gym that he belongs to but yeah so i'm about to start the bedtime routine but i wanted to go ahead and close out this video 
and thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that y'all enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one which will probably be us leaving or arriving, leaving for or arriving into Vegas. So yeah, see you guys then. Bye.